You're watching the Illinois Players Show on Fan Media Network. I'm Patrick Quinn, and this is Marcus Liberty. Okay, Marcus, I was listening to a podcast that you were on with Dion Thomas. Uh, it was released last week. If you want to download it, it's called the Champ- uh, what's Champagne on Ice, right? Yes. So I was listening to it. It was a very, very candid conversation. Awesome, awesome uh, conversation that you and Dion had. The interesting tidbits that I I listened to was your experience at Illinois, how you and Dion could have been a great teammates had he been able to play his first year. But what really kind of stood out to me was when you were going to re-sign, I think it was with the Denver Nuggets, right, for a long period, a, a big contract. And your agent gave you some advice, and it just didn't turn out well. Can you explain that? Yeah, Patrick, my – um my third year in the NBA, um, I was playing pretty good. And then Denver Nuggets actually contacted my agent and mentioned that they wanted to extend the contract. They wanted to give me a six-year a six-year deal. Um, Beautiful. It wasn't going to start off with a whole lot of money, but at the back end, I would have made, you know, close to you know, a million dollars. And <clears throat> what year was this, by the way? That was in 1993, 92, wow. 93 season. And my agent advice was, you know, you're playing pretty good. Just let's just take a one year deal for 650,000. And then you'll get that million the next year. So you and took that advice, didn't you? I took that, that. That's what. That's what the agents are there for. Really, they're lawyers, or they should have somebody in the company that's a lawyer that can advise you what deal to take. And that was the deal that he, ex, you know, told me to take. Um, as I think about it now, you know, that was the wrong, definitely the wrong deal to take. You know, security. so what they ended up doing to you then? They did they trade you? Yeah, um, I played maybe five games, you know, into that 93, 94 season under that $650,000 contract and then uh, got traded um, to Detroit. And I, Bernie didn't want to trade me. I think Bernie Bickerstaff, who was the general manager at the Denver Nuggets, I knew that he, he liked my game. Um, but sometimes I think it... They take it personal when someone, you know, turns down a deal and it definitely sounds like they took it personal and and they sent they sent me to somewhere because Alvin Roberts, I don't remember him, Alvin Roberts. Oh, yeah. Alvin Robertson was getting in some trouble with the coach over at Detroit. So Detroit was just trying to ship them off, you know, get rid of them. And Denver packaged a deal. Um, I heard the deal was Mark Macon and Kevin Brooks at first that was the initial deal that denver was trying to ship off and detroit was like no we want mark making and marcus liberty and so that's how my name got into that trade oh and and then that's how you got shipped off that's how i got shipped off so this immediately brought me to the thought of kofi coburn and his plight this year where his stock is rising okay he as you know the guy the guy can do anything he wants this season if he puts his mind to it. He was a little timid the year before, but his stock's real high. And I'm thinking he probably ought to make the jump now. Is that what the advice you would give him? What kind of advice would you give him? That would be definitely the advice I would give him because he is playing, well, he is playing like an All-American. You look at his numbers. He's averaging 17 points, 10 rebounds a game. Yeah. And protecting the paint. I mean, close to two two block shots a game. You know, he's like at one point six or something like that. But, and he's got eighty career dunks or something like that. And he dunks everything around the basket. <laughs> you know, he's a he's a beast around the basket. Just 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 call it what it is. He's a beast around the basket, and he gets it. He gets the job done. So my advice definitely would be, you know. <clears throat> It's a good opportunity now to come out, you know, even though we know we're in this pandemic. But I think it's a good time for guys like Coffee to really, you know, test the waters and come out and see where see where it lands. 
Yeah, because it's different when you first, when you were going to the NBA. If you were going to go to the NBA, you're going. You couldn't come back. So it's time for him to seriously test the waters, maybe try out for a couple teams. Yeah, and get the feedback. I mean, some they, that's their jobs. The NBA job is to look at the players that's putting their name into the draft, evaluate them and see where they at and what they like and what they don't like about them. Of course, everybody's not going to like Everybody knows they have things to improve on. Everybody. There's not one player that's going to be in the draft that a scout or an executive of the NBA is going to say anything, you know, not all positive. It's not going to be all positive. So you're going to have to, you know, be critiqued and understand that there's going to be some things you need to work on. And sometimes they go off potential. Like, I can work with this guy to get him to point A, from point A to point B. So, and, bef- and before we end this, I, I think we should stress that Kofi could be told by one team he's going to get picked at number 15, and then he may not go until the second round, right? Yeah, that happened to me. I mean, it happened to me. Yeah. It happened to Deion yeah. Thomas. It happened to a lot of guys. I'd heard these stories over and over again, how teams say they, they're they going to pick you, and then they, end up, they wind up picking someone else. So it's a chance you have to take. It's a chance that you have to take and that you believe that you belong in the NBA. I mean, if you don't think you belong in the NBA, don't put your name in the draft. I think that's why they call it a lottery ticket, right? A lottery pick. You're taking a chance. (laughs) You're You're taking a chance. Really, you are. All right, Marcus, that's good advice for Kofi. We'll see if he takes it. We'll see what happens down the road. There's still plenty of season left, and we'll hit those in other videos. He's Marcus Liberty. I'm Patrick Quinn for The Players Show. To host a player show or appear as a player on a player show, simply create a profile on Fan Media's iOS app or website. Select your teams and make a short intro video on your phone. Show hosts, reporters, former players, and super fans can use our Get Verified feature and make an intro video as well. And our mobile newsroom staff will reach out.